okay so uh we should understand well enough what is this quantity r uh what is this quantity s and what is this quantity r plus s so you see that r we can write so here is the markov chain uh, transition process which i'm going to uh, explain in a minute but before that let let's see what is this r r is the probability to have an arrival and no departure of some job no no departure of some job that is in terms of markov chain or probability probability of x n is equal to x n minus one plus one okay because arrival but no departure now and what was the r r was actually a p into one minus q and what was p p was probability that one job arrives and what was the q Prob independently probability that one jobs depart so one minus q will is no departs okay so that is why r is probability to have an arrival but no departure and what is s s is the probability to have a departure but sorry and no arrival so that is means probability of xn is equal to x n minus 1 minus 1 right so and what is r plus s so r plus s is the probability that the q length changes right so in mathematically x n is not equal to x n plus 1 and so 1 minus of r plus s which is 1 minus r minus s is the probability that the q length does not changes changes that is probability of xn is equal to xn plus 1 now let's go back to the let's go back to the uh, markov chain uh, construction so so at zero uh, if the number of job is at zero and it will be uh, staying at at zero in the in the router there will be zero job with probability one minus r because r is the probability to have an arrival and no departure right so if that is the case that means there is some job uh, in the router right arrival but no departure so uh, the probability so 1 minus r will be the uh, opposite event of this and now uh, uh, so so we can say that there is one job that means one job arrives and it doesn't departure so from 0 to 
from zero job to one job so in other words in markov chain format if i say that a uh, that the state from zero the, st the system goes from state zero to state one with probability r and of course uh, with probability one to probability s it it again comes to from one to zero that means if uh, there is one job and then uh, s is the probability to have one job departures but no arrival that means zero job so this transition this way transition is s probability and this way transition is r probability so you have to understand this transition so r plus s is the probability of uh, as we just uh, explain is probability of changing like probability of xn is uh, not equal to xn minus 1 so system changes uh, and 1 minus r minus s is the probability that the there is no change so that is why whatever whenever there is some state the system is some state it will stay in that state with 1 minus r minus s okay so for example the system is a one state 1 it will be at 1 with r minus 1 minus 1 minus r minus s and it will be at state 2 with the same and because the things are independent in nature okay so the crucial step is to understand this uh, markov chain uh, formation state 1 to state 0 and in every step it will be like moving from one step to another it will be r moving back from the stage to previous step will be s and everything is this now <clears throat> okay so now the question is uh, uh, so yeah so uh, now so clearly here will be the transition probability right if you draw the transition probability uh, sorry transition uh, matrix so here is the here is the transition probability matrix so let's say p that will be infinite matrix because this is an infinite state markov chain right so one minus r then r and then zero 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 and then s then 0 0 dot 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 then 1 minus r minus s and then r then 0 0 and so on and this is s this is 0 and so on so on so the all the diagonal entry will be 1 minus r minus s 1 minus r minus s 1 minus r minus s and so on right you see and the stationary equations the stationary equation it looks like so if the initial distribution is pi 0 then pi 0 into 1 minus r plus pi 1 into s so I, I think you should check and this again, you can construct this uh, from this transition of Markov state states of the um, transition of the states and then pi 1 will be equal to pi 0 into r plus pi 1 into 1 minus r minus s plus pi 2 of s and then pi 2 will be pi 1 into r plus pi 2 into 1 minus r minus s plus pi 3 s and then pi 3 will be pi 2 into r plus pi 3 into 1 minus r minus s plus pi 4 s and then Finally, from the equation pi 1 plus pi 2 dot 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 pi n plus this infinite sum will be equal to 1.